clash at the castle. Wow. Uh, yeah, that was pretty insane, wasn't it? So, uh, yeah, I've just finished watching um, the event in Glasgow and just seen what Mr Punk did. Um, I'm very much hoping uh, that Phil is on a private jet back to the States right now for his own uh, safety. Um, yeah, that was that was completely insane. I've just done a couple of uh, little reaction videos to stuff that early happened earlier in the night. But yeah, the main event that was absolutely completely insane. Um, there were five matches in total, so we had uh, Cody Rhodes versus AJ Styles. Uh, for the Universal title. Um, really good match. Those two match up really well. Um, both of them bled. Uh, very good sound technical match. Really, really good. Uh, Mama Rhodes got involved. Um, Cody bled first. AJ bled uh, second. Uh, when Cody threw him um through a table after he'd been handcuffed with the handcuffs that AJ brought into the ring in the first place which is a, a bit stupid Mr Styles but still um yeah so AJ uh ended up being handcuffed to the uh to the ring ropes himself um and the sort of tease that he was going to quit and you were like no nah, he's not going to quit over that because Cody was just hammering 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 and with just punches and stuff um, and you you think to yourself, no, he's not going to quit out of that. Then all of a sudden, Cody brought um, a great, huge staircase, metal staircase into the ring, and Mr. Styles fought better of it and basically covered his face and said, I quit. Uh, which was, uh, it was a pretty cool way to end the match, actually. It kind of reminded me of what happened in AEW a while ago with um, uh, Adam Copeland, otherwise known as Edge, and Christian. They did a very similar thing where... Um, I think Christian was going to um, get smashed in the face with like a lead pipe or something stupid like that. And he just said, I quit in the end and won the title. So it's a bit similar to that. But yeah, no, it's a good way to start off the match. Glasgow, pff, wow, the crowd were French kiss. Absolutely amazing. Ab hilarious. Um, there were various songs that the crowd were singing, which um, since there are one or two kids who watch my toy videos on this, I am not at liberty to repeat, but... Um, uh, how to put this politely, uh, they were suggesting that Mr. Styles was a banker of some description for a very large bank in Scotland. Uh, and various other insults and um, uh, calling him a, again, how to put this politely, uh, a rinky rastard. Yeah, go and watch the match. You'll see what they were chanting about. So um, so there was that. Then there was the uh, ladies six-man tag. I won't go too much into that, but just to say that um, Bianca and Jade lost the titles to the two local girls. Um, I'm just having to read the names because I've up until this week and I've never actually heard of them. I've got to be completely honest, but there was uh, Alba Fire and Dawn, Isla Dawn. Please correct me. I, I, seriously, I, I'd not heard of them literally till the match. To be quite honest, I know they've been on NXT, but I don't I don't get to watch NXT as much as I used to. So, um, sorry, but uh, two Scottish ladies basically won the title, which the crowd was very very um, pleased with. It totally took me by surprise because the match was just ambling along. Um, Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark were in it as well, um, and it was just going along. And Jade and Bianca were doing the power moves and this, that, and the other. And you were just thinking, yeah, it's just like an exhibition, but they won the tag titles which I'm going to assume is going to set up Jade versus Bianca for maybe SummerSlam. Um, so I'm thinking maybe Bianca turns on Jade because everyone thinks it's going to be deal for around, but I reckon that um, I reckon they might do a a double turn essentially and maybe have uh, Jade being the face. Maybe I'm not too sure. I don't know. Um, I've got a bit of a concern about. Jade Cargill, I'm not one of these people that wants to get on people's backs, and I know Jade's been getting a load of abuse about her in-ring uh, technique, shall we say, and look, I think she's really good, I think she's going to be one of the best women's wrestlers in the world in the next three or four years, um, she made a, quite a few bo blotches tonight, bo blotches? Botches even, 
um, for quite a few botches. So she slipped off the top rope. Look, that, that can happen to anyone at the end of the day. I'm not going to criticise her over that. But the, if you watch it, there were one or two things that she was doing. And I was like, well, what are you doing kind of thing? Um, and people were having to cover for her and all sorts. And the time was like, I mean, it could, look, she, she could have just been, maybe she's ill. Maybe like... Um, she was injured or something maybe she's just look she's probably just had a bad day like like we all have a bad day at work at the end of the day but it's not the first time i've seen it um so it may be something to think about um the third match was uh chad gable against Sami Zayn. this was really really good good story um the crowd really into the angle with otis uh and maxine um Gable was trying to get them involved to try and screw Sammy's up, Sammy over, basically. Um, she want, He wanted to get Maxine to hit uh, Gable, um, Gable um, to hit Sammy's aim with the belt. And she kind of refused to do it. And then Gable went up to her as if he was going to like hit her or something. Otis stood in the way. Um, and basically carted Maxine out and Gable got halluva kicked by Sammy's aim. And Sammy got one, two, three. Before all that, the match was really good as well. I have to say, I'm very impressed with Gable. Um, his wrestling is really, really good. <laughs> the the crowd was saying, "You're just a uh, <clears throat> Kurt Angle," which was very, very funny. Highly amusing. Um, but his his wrestling, his his work is really, really good. Really technically, so I can see where the angle comparisons come from. Um, some of his throws and his grappling and the submissions that he locks on, the way he locks it in, um. Especially the ankle lock, it was really, really good. And obviously, Sami Zayn's a fantastic wrestler himself. So, those two are really good together. But um, there was a sort of look at the end where Sami said, That's it for you. Um, and I don't know, Gable looked like he'd. He looked really angry, but he also looked quite solemn. I know there's been rumours about him maybe going to AEW because he's in the middle of contract negotiations. I think WWE, the way that Gable's going at the minute, would be very silly to let him go. But. Perhaps it's him going and not ricochet, maybe. Who knows? I don't know, but I, I certainly no expert. I've got absolutely no idea. Um so yeah, that was really good. The Piper Niven versus Bailey. Um got to be honest, I didn't enjoy it at all. i perhaps it's just me. Please feel free to say that I'm talking rubbish or whatever, but I I didn't really enjoy it. It was just like a normal bog standard match to be honest between two fantastic wrestlers in the ladies division I mean Piper obviously she's been a fantastic wrestler on the indies for years and obviously Bailey's fantastic I, just, I don't think they could have done better I just I don't think they were given I don't think they were maybe not given enough time but I, I, I don't know there was just something about it the structure of the match the way it was put together there was just something that was just a bit off about it I'm I'm hoping that they're given both another chance to be honest because it could have been really good because I do like Piper and obviously Bailey's been one of my favorite wrestlers for a few years now. Um, I'm hoping that they give them another chance to go go into it. Um, because I, I just thought it could have been done better. Look, hey, it's just me. I don't know. Perhaps it was just me. Uh, and then we come to the main event. Uh, so obviously, the crowd went absolutely nuts when Drew came out. I mean, they went nuts for Piper, but this was like they actually had like a decibel meter on the um. On the side of the screen, it was going mentally. I think it went up to like 117 or something stupid like that. Um, and yeah, crowd were really into it. Priest came out. Uh, they were booing the f out of him basically, and it, it was probably my favourite match actually. It wasn't like a technical classic by any stretch, but it was what it needed to be. It was smash mouth. It was rough. Um proper hits, proper smashes, um, Priest, some of his kicks, some of his clotheslines, um, punches, same for McIntyre. I mean, you could actually hear they were absolutely brutal. It was really, really, really good. Um, it was probably, I think, probably match of the night for me. Um, and then to the finish. Now, this is going to piss lots of people off. Um, look, it's no secret, everyone that knows me, I'm a I'm a massive fan of that guy, even what had happened in AEW, even when he quit WWE. I am a I'm a CM Punk mark. I wish I wasn't, but like I love the guy basically for hell or high water. Um <coughs> yeah. Um 
do I think that they should have let Drew go over clean? Probably. I would have liked to have seen Drew one in his own country because they've done this a few times now. I mean, obviously Punk cost him at WrestleMania. Um, he got screwed over at Clash at the Castle, what was it, two years ago in Wales, I think, or a year ago, whenever it was. Um, yeah, I just thought that Drew basically should have gone over um, and then had the face-off with Punk and then perhaps, like I don't know, like Punk gets his revenge on Raw in a couple of days' time or whatever. But they've obviously got a plan um, for SummerSlam because at the moment, as it stands, it's basically going to be Gunther against Damien Priest for SummerSlam. Now, look, I'm actually really impressed with Damien Priest. I was a huge fan of him a while ago, but he's really, really, really gone up in my estimation. Some of the man's work is really, really good. Um, I think he's going to be a mainstay for WWE for a l- number of years now. I'd like to see him work a programme with Roman, personally. I think those two are money. Um, yeah, um, but Gunther versus Priest is heel versus heel, which we kind of just had with Drew, but he was... A Face in his own country kind of thing so um i don't see it working out that way plus also you've got money in the bank um does cm punk get the money in the bank briefcase perhaps does he cash in on the same night maybe drew cashes in this time and then sets that sets up for uh, i don't know perhaps a triple threat of mcintyre gumpher and punk or something on those lines maybe mcintyre and punk have a singles match on their own because they're definitely going to work a program. This is going to go on for a fair few months now. Um, yeah, there's all sorts of possibilities with this now. Um, yeah, but yeah, overall the pay-per-view, it was really, really good. Really enjoyed it. Um, like I said, apart from the Piper and Baylor, but that was just my personal opinion. Um yeah, and just looking forward to Money in the Bank now, uh, which is in three weeks' time. So I'm going to do this again in three weeks. Um, for the AEW amongst you, I'm going to um, probably do this for Bid- Forbidden Door as well, uh, which is in a couple of weeks' time. So, yeah, um, that was Clash of the Castle from Glasgow. Um, very good. Enjoyed it. Right, guys. Damien Priest saw the champion. Screwed over by... CM Punk. I'll see you all later. And Phil, good luck getting out of Glasgow, mate. See you all later. Bye.